Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you guys a free to play auto farm deck because um, I don't know if people are as obsessed with this game as me, but um, yeah, some of us like to grind this game 24-7 and you know, a lot of auto duel decks are not really good or most of the people that recommend one, it's kind of outdated. So um, this is the basic one I like to use. Now, all the de cards you see are obtained from character rewards, uh, structure decks, or so on and so forth from the card trader or such. So, basically, um, the, the main idea from the deck is to create some, a deck so basic and so simple that the AI cannot mess it up. Because the AI does not really get decks. It's kind of like, if you, if you uh, even simple decks like Shirinui, um, the AI doesn't understand how to do it right. So, But for whatever reason, they understand Elemental Heroes and they understand Neos. So, what we have here is we take some of the strongest Elemental Heroes that you can get. Alias you can get from the two structure decks, one where you get Neos Fusion in, which is a very good staple card, especially in lower ranks I know of. Um, the second copy you get in the My Favorite Hero pack. Keeper of Dragon Magic you get from the also very, very, very good card in the early game. You get from the Chaos Magician set. This you get from the uh, Jaden Fire set. Blazeman is good. The AI s understands kind of how to use it sometimes. It might sometimes screw you over. You know, and if you don't like that, you can take Blazeman out and just put in Sparkman. But I, I just have Blazeman here for reference because it is a good card that can sometimes reduce your polymerization. Aside from that, we use Elemental Hero Heat. Mimi card, I am aware, but it's a 1800 beat stick, which can be good on its own. So, and for every other hero you have in the field, it increases its attack. So, very good card for the AI to use. Wild Heart can protect you from the trap cards if you equip it with the spell cards, or buff it up. We need Neos in the deck for your fusion summoning, because combining that with your Miracle Contact, which you can pick up from the card trader, which is an, a shuffle from your hand or graveyard into the deck in order to summon a Elemental Hero Neos fusion monster, which of course in most cases would be Elemental Hero Brave Neos. Now, then again, since it is Miracle Contact, it can be better to take out an, another card. If you don't like using the Miracle Contact, the AI knows how to use it, so you can switch it out for another Equip Spell, because the Equip Spells are very core to this deck. So, you can run, or you can also run it next to Ryoku. Ryoku, the AI knows how to use this card. They understand how it can turn tables if used correctly, and they know how to do it. News Fusion, absolute must. I have you under the unicorn here. You can put in any equipped spell card from something as cheap as that. That's some cheap axe card that you get from the card trader, which gives 500 attack. You know, anything else. Power of the Guardian. If you haven't opened, obtained free copies, it's kind of a must. You get one Remaster of Chaos. They mentioned the Wizard mini box. You gotta go in there to get free copies of it because this, this card can win you duels on its own in certain ranks when people do not have the card. But regardless, in the AI situation, <laughs> this card wins most duels. <laughs> Polymerization, two copies, that's all you really need. Blazeman can search it if, if the AI does it right. You know, otherwise, you use the two copies of that. You can take out Ryoku and put in anything else. Fusion Monsters. Brave Neos you get from Structure Deck. Also get from Structure Deck. Nova Master. Grand Merge is a UR ticket? And it was an event recently? Uh, I think it's a few months back, maybe? Elemental Hero Core you can get from... Um, Jaden slash Yubel. Farming them. Eskuridao. Hectic. This card you can get from the Favorite Hero Structure Deck. Trinity, very good card as well. Trinity can be obtained from the the Destiny Hero Box. Speaking of the Destiny Hero Box, another good card you could put in there is if you don't like using Blaze Man and you feel that it is screwing you over a lot, you can add Vision Hero Vion instead of it because it counts as a, a hero monster and it searches out the polymerization. AI also knows how to use this card, so you know it's up to you which one of the two you want to use. So yeah, then there we go.
this deck can help you beat pretty much any and most of the NPC duels. You just want to avoid certain types. Sworn by Light, easy peasy. Show us how it's done. I swear to God, if the deck loses now, I will be so embarrassed. The thing about the deck is, though, that most AI farming decks, you know, RNG is always a, uh, uh, possibility. That, or sometimes the AI won't use newest fusion or something like that. But we got lucky this time. It's pretty much a win. You got Neos on the field, a G Power of the Guardians, using Power of the Guardians. Very easy. You can illusion us all year long. There's nothing you can do discount Akiza, also known as Meg. <laughs> Use a spell card once. Man, some of these missions are hilarious. Like, play the game! It's literally, some of them, I should literally say, just play the game and you will get free stuff. Free gems for playing the game. Crazy concept, and when people always ask, how do you get so many gems? How did you create floor? How did you get 6,000 gems? Crazy stuff. Polymerization, Elemental Hero Core, there we go. Elemental Hero Core is better than Elemental Hero Trinity, because... Um, it's got a better on field effect. And there we go. Another easy win. Some deck uh, AIs you want to dodge, like UA. Ugh. Those are some crazy sports people. What are they called? Athletes. I should know this because I want to sleep with most of them. Not the cards, though, mind you. What do you have for us, Nicholas? Judgment from the Depths. Riskier, but it's still possible to win if the AI can pull it off for me. Don't be... Mm. There we go. We lost it. It's all possible. It's kind of up in the air as to when you, whether you will lose or win. However, this deck does make it a lot higher chance for you. Like, we got kind of bricked with our opening hand. Only one spell card. You know, nothing you can really do. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But, you should win like 90% of your duels with this deck. Come on, Daniel, what have you got for us? Naturia United, best deck to play against. Easy free low. <sighs> Man, I'm pretty sure, like, if it, if it could be said, like, everyone would want to play against the Trio United, dude. It's just the best deck to play against. There we go. Another GG. Oh! Oh! These Naturios are giving me a <laughs> They don't, they don't take shit, my dude. There you go. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll... Open up the deck list one last time, keeping it at the end, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you!